Hey, welcome to Unchurched Talk with the tea. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Unchurched Talk with the tea, y'all. And as always, I'm coming to you, bringing you this spiritual tea. So today, what I wanted to talk about is taking time out to worship God. So first, I want to say I had all the intentions of going to church today. I got dressed, but unforeseen situations happen and I didn't make it. So for those of you who go to church, when you don't go to church, you feel bad, you feel guilty, and you're just like, oh, I missed it. Oh, and you just feel like a bad person sometimes. But what I want to tell you today is that worship is not about that. Oh, my God. Worship has nothing to do with us. And it has everything to do with God. Worship. Is something that I had on my heart all today just thinking about worshiping you know just thinking about giving God the worship that he deserves but there will be times when you may not be able to go to church or go to do something that you have planned to do but you ever heard of that uh, saying that says if you want to make God laugh, share with him your plans. So, today, what I want to tell you is that I need you to get rid of that guilt feeling. Yeah, you might not have went to church today. You might be sick. You might not even belong to a church. But you can always take out time to worship. Jesus said that there is going to come a time, and the time is now, where the Father is going to require those to worship him in spirit and in truth. For God is a spirit, and this is in St. John, the fourth chapter. But they that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth. And in my mind, I thought about being seen a lot of times we worship to be seen but worship is not about us it has nothing to do with us it has nothing to do with how much we can give how much we can do but worship has everything to do with God worship makes us smaller and it makes him bigger Glory to God. And first and foremost, worship should be done from the heart. For you should not be worshipped to be seen, but you should always be found worshipping. Worship should be done in the form of a sacrifice. Whatever your sacrifice is, um, whether it is in praise, whether it is in thanksgiving, whether it is a song, you still can worship God. I thought about the, uh, the story about the woman with the alabaster box. She brought this alabaster box full of expensive oil to Jesus. Yes, she could have gave it to Jesus and the disciples could have sold it and they could have profited from it. But you know what she did? She broke the bottle open and she poured it on Jesus' feet. Now when this happened, the disciples was like, why did she do this? She could have sold that oil for profit for you know it was an expensive oil but jesus said do you not know that this story this moment is going to go down for centuries to be told why 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 is this a memorable story because it wasn't the the uh fact about the oil it was the fact that she gave him her very best oh my god she could have profited she could have saved it for her retirement but she found an opportunity she didn't want to miss this moment of worship and that's what i want to that's what i want to encourage you to do don't 
miss this moment of worship. Wherever you are, whoever you are, you may feel that you're not qualified. But what I want to encourage you to do is take some time, steal some time, grab some time to steal away and worship God. For he deserves our glory. He deserves our praise. And truth be spoken, we are not qualified. For the Bible says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But worship is not about us. And it has everything to do with God. So what I want to encourage you to do today is take the time. Take the time that you know he rightfully deserves. Take that time to worship. God bless you. And I'll see you next time to Unchurched Talk with the T. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time to Unchurched Talk with the T.